honorable members of parliament, members of the clergy, leaders in your various capacities, fellow mourners both here and those following through the various media platforms. I want to thank all of you who are here gathered. Today, when the body of my brothers arrived in his home and route to Lalogi, where burial will take place on Friday, and to which everybody, without exception, is not only invited but expected. When I was reflecting, since the news of the demise of Jacob Olanya came, there's been so much outpouring of grief. But indivisible from that grief is a manifestation of the love for Olanya which this country has exhibited. Like my, my brother, Honorable Oriamo Kela said, this is unprecedented. I was going through memory lane. I don't recall Any one person's death in recent times in this country, which has united the country the way, the way Jacob Olanya's demise has done. If my memory has served me wrong, I will concede, but, but I can't seem to put my finger on any. Now, in my tradition, When you leave children behind, you are dead, but you are really not dead. I know some people have problems reporting some of the things I say. If you have such problems, come and seek clarification. Before you come up with headlines which has no meaning, no connection with what I speak here. Your own ideas. In my tradition, there is continuity in Jacob Olanya, and the evidence was presented before you here. So Jacob Olanya is dead, but not truly dead. How can we then prove that the outpouring of our grief, the massive show of our love, was not just for the moment, but it was a true endearment to someone who accomplished so much in a short time. A fellow who was only in Makere, 1990 was yesterday, he was in Makere, 30 years ago, he was in Makere. But when you speak about Jacob Olanya, it is as if he has been doing this from the 1960s, 1970. And as I said here yesterday, Jacob Olanya saw death in the face, actually he confronted death in the face in 1990 at Makerere University. But by the grace of God, he did not die. He only died 32 years later. And it was God's purpose. And that purpose is what you've been talking about, all of you, all of us the legacy he has left. How can we thank God for the life he gave Jacob Olanya and enabled him to do for all of us 
what we now remember him for. Again, in my culture and among my people, by the way, children's homes have failed. It is not possible to set up children's homes among the Acholi people. Because we believe in the doctrine that we are our brother's keeper. We take over the children of the deceased as a matter of course. Not because we wish to be uh, hallowed, we wish to be remembered. It, it just comes naturally. Because it is the children who allow us to wipe away our tears. So in this regard, we've set up the Jacob Olanya Educational Trust Fund. which I am privileged to, to chair. Members include the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament and others. It is our vow it is our determination that Jacob Olanya's children may not or will not be able to see Jacob now physically But their dreams, their pursuit of education will continue as if Jacob Olanya was alive. Those who are studying outside will not come back to study in Uganda. They will continue to the highest level of their pursuit. We extend this to those who are Jacob's responsibility owing to dependence. They too will not miss Jacob Olanya. Now, this is going to be possible to its entirety if the love which we have shown Jacob Olanya by our grief, we convert it into inundating this Jacob Bologna Educational Trust Fund with our endless contribution. I give you the assurance that not even half a coin out of those funds will be put to, your, to wrong use. Not when it is under my watch. I believe in Jacob's friends. I believe in those whom Jacob Olanya touched by who he was, that we will make this a reality. Then, and only then, can we sit back and say, yes, we grieved when we lost Jacob Olanya, but we also say, death. You floored us once, but we're going to floor you for the rest of the bout by ensuring that Jacob Olanya's children achieve their dream. May the good Lord 